All right, today's show features the newest addition to the Catalyst 9000 family. It's the 9200 series. Remember the 9000 series, these are the next generation of legendary Catalyst switches for the Enterprise, covering everything from access to distribution to the core. But also remember, these are the first purpose-built platforms for Cisco's digital network architecture, DNA, as well as software-defined access, your SD access. This is part of how we get to intent-based networking. Well, this is also the first time in the industry that a single family of fixed, stackable, as well as modular switches are running on the same iOS XE operating system as well as the same ASIC family. So now, let's take a look at the Catalyst 9200. Well, Mohammed, welcome back to TechWise TV. Pleasure to be here again. Yeah, we always come, you bring, I, I love the fact that you always bring hardware to look at, and obviously there's a trend. You're responsible for the Catalyst, uh, and specifically in the 9000 family, you've got a new member here, the 9200. So that's our focus for today. I wonder if you could kind of tell me, where does, this, where does the 9200 fit in the broader, uh, incredible uh, background we have here with the 9000 family? That's right. We introduced the Catalyst 9000, which is powering intent-based networking. Good, I like it. Now we are bringing Catalyst 9200, which is gonna go to a much broader set of deployments. Okay. Compared to the Catalyst 9300, which is much richer in scale and mm -hmm. capabilities, Catalyst 9200 focuses on small and medium deployments as well as branch deployments. Okay, okay, so this is about a broad network reach, if you will, from a uh, kind of, let's get a lot of ports out there, let's stack them up if you need density, um, but this is gonna be what you need in most situations, especially from a, in your closet perspective. That's right, okay. Okay. that's right. Now the Catalyst 9200 series comes in two flavors. Okay. Catalyst 9200L, which is the well, these fixed, here, right? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and point out which ones we're looking at here. Yes, these are the two Catalyst 9200L, okay. the top ones, and then the bottom one is Catalyst 9200. Okay. The key difference between the Catalyst 9200L and Catalyst 9200 is the modularity of the uplink and fans on the Catalyst 9200. Okay. On the Catalyst 9200L, we have fixed uplinks and fans. Okay. However, in the entire Catalyst 9200 series, we have added a lot more modularity and redundancy to bring maximum resiliency. Okay. This so let me show you a couple things in please. the back here. Okay. On the Catalyst 9200 series, we have dual redundant power supplies everywhere. And that means if one of your power supplies fail, you are already covered with the second power supply you also have modular power supplies, which means if one of the power supplies has to fail, mm -hmm. you can actually replace it instead of RMA your entire unit. Okay, very nice. Same thing goes for fans on the Catalyst 9200. Okay. That is modular as well. So you can actually replace it if you Aww. need. Um, on the Catalyst 9200 series, we also have is stacking, a much more enhanced stacking compared to its predecessor, which is which was the Catalyst 2K. Okay, and that, obviously that's where we want people to go. People are using the 2K, they've been waiting to get into the 9000 family, perhaps this is what they've been waiting for. Absolutely. For reasons like this, they yes. didn't have uh, the redundant power supply options, they didn't have some of these redundant options, you're saying the stacking options are also better. Exactly. Okay, so what, what's the difference? The other thing is, the stack-wise, technology we are extending to the Catalyst 9200 as well. Okay. And that is powering these units to 80 gig of bandwidth to the Catalyst 9200L and 160 gig of bandwidth on the stack on the Catalyst 9200. Okay, so that's a significant difference between the two. And the point is, is you can stack these, they look like one single switch up to a total of eight. You stay within either the 9200 or uh, the L or the non-L. Correct. Correct. You, have L. In, you have to stack within that same little subfamily, so to speak. Exactly. Okay. 9200 L stacks with 9200 L, and 9200s will stack with 9200. And, and then the back plane or the bandwidth you said on those is different too? It's different. It's 80 gig on okay. the L, okay. and 160 gig on the Catalyst 9200. Okay, so you get more modularity, a little bit more backplane, ability to stack to a higher bandwidth, and Absolutely. that type of thing, but the, the port density obviously is gonna remain the same, 24 and 48 port versions? That's right. Okay. So both of these versions have 24 port models and 48 port models, data, and full PoE plus. Okay. So when I say full PoE plus, that means 30 watt is available on all ports. 
Nice, okay. And that is great in this class of product. Okay, so you're either getting the PoE, and if you do, you're getting all the PoE possible, uh, or you're getting no PoE, in which that's case right. that's what you configured and wanted anyway. So we're fine there. Okay. Exactly. So let me ask you, the, the software and the hardware differences are a little bit different for this one as well. Uh, obviously the story remains the same. It's the same software, it's the same ASIC, uh, but there, there are variations of that same family. Can you explain what, what is meant by what we're doing differently for this particular model? That's right. So the brain of the Catalyst 9200 is powered by the same UADP ASIC family. Okay. However, we have a more optimized version of the UADP ASIC family. We call it UADP 2.0 Mini. 2.0 Mini, okay. Um, the UADP 2.0 Mini has all the great features of the UADP from architecture perspective. So these are programmable. Nice, okay. Which means new future technologies can be adopted on this platform without changing the ASIC. Right, so should something be invented new, you're not gonna have to forklift this out just to pick up a whole new switch to support it. These ASICs uh, exactly. have a little bit of hardware and software kind of blend to them, so to speak, but obviously right. it's all hardware, it's an ASIC. Full okay. flexible net flow, which gives you a lot more visibility, 16,000 flows you can monitor on a box. Another benefit of that ASIC, yeah. Okay. Yes, Perfect. that's coming directly from the ASIC. Okay. And many more things on the ASIC side, but let me tell you a little bit more on the iOS XC, which okay. is the operating system side. Right. The iOS XC that we have on the rest of the Cat 9K family, we are extending this to the Catalyst 9200 and 9200L. Okay. So it's the same operating system. However, these are smaller boxes with the smaller footprints. So what we have done here is we have a smaller image which is optimized for the smaller footprint, uh, memory footprint that we have on the Catalyst 9200. Okay. Same image goes on 9200L and 9200s. Okay. No difference there. Okay. That brings all the capabilities of iOS XC right. on the Catalyst 9200 series, like programmability, right. Yang models, Netcon, Frescon, all of this. It's got a good programmability modularity type of thing to the, to the software as well, uh, that's right. the way we're running processes now. So that's good. So, okay, so all that same intelligence was poured into there. What about security? I mean, you guys are doing a few different things here, uh, both within the family and then, of course, it's extended to this one. What would you highlight? That's right. It has all the essential security needed for this box. Okay. From platform perspective, these are trustworthy systems. So it, got, it, it has got all the trustworthy system features in it. Okay. We are also bringing MaxSec 128 on the Catalyst 9200 series. First time yeah. in this class of product. Okay. And that means you can protect your transport end to end now with MaxSec. Got to prevent man in the middle type of thing as well. Someone can't insert Absolutely. Okay. Man in the middle, wire tapping, all those kind of attacks yeah. are protected. Yeah, that happens a lot in the physical layer. And so just checking here, so we mentioned the programmable edge models. Oh, obviously, so as part of the entire story of the 9000, this is the physical instantiation of where we're going with intent-based networking as part of the uh, SDA uh, storyline and the S uh, software-defined access. But now I know you don't have to use software-defined access for this, but this investment in this direction doesn't preclude you. You're gonna be able to participate should you decide to move forward in that direction you're still making a good investment. Is that a right way to put this it? This is a supported platform for software-defined access. Okay. Both of them, the 9200L and the 9200. Okay. This part of the DNA, it, it can be monitored from the DNA center. Okay. The scales are slightly lower, or much lower. Um, the, on the 9200L, you can have one virtual network. On the 9200 series, you can have up to four virtual networks. Okay. So four macro segmentation. Okay. Okay, so the L's got a few less. That's right. Okay, then that makes sense. Okay, yeah. so just another thing to kind of put in that L column, make sure you understand what you're getting there as well. That's right. Um, and, and one more thing, if, if you want to manage this box, box individually, mm -hmm. and you like to go without a DNA center for any reason, mm -hmm. you can do that as well. It has a, an enhanced web UI, which we, we have on the rest of the cat 9 family as well, okay. uh, here on this box, and you can manage this box Box by box. Box by box. With a, with a with UI, web UI, with an actual graphical yes. interface type thing. All right, excellent. Anything else we need to understand? I think those are the key things okay. that we have talked, and there are many more that yeah, we'll I find. I always have to cut you off website. somewhere. Absolutely. So a lot of features, the whole family is valuable. It's nice that we've got, uh, we're kind of rounding it out so people have less excuses. Uh, if they're doing any kind of a refresh whatsoever, when you're talking about port density and high uh, availability and all the things that you need here at this level, this is going to be a good one to move to as well, it sounds like. Absolutely. Well, excellent, Mohammed. Thank you so much. Appreciate you taking the time to come out. We've been waiting for a while for this one, uh, and I think it's going to fit in a lot of good places. So thank you for that. Uh, but guys, there's more information on screen. Check out the entire family. Make sure you understand what's going on with the 90.
9200, but it's it's the story of the 9000 family here with Catalyst that's never been done before. This is really good stuff for your network. It's a great investment for now and moving forward, despite how much of it you're actually taking advantage of, you're gonna be in a good position. So more information on screen. My name is Rob Boyd. Thank you so much for watching TechWise TV. We'll see you on the next one.